Another interesting series of jumps is called the Paskin series. The Paskin series are the electron jumps where the electrons jump from higher orbits down to the third energy level or from the third energy level to higher uh, orbits. Again, uh, if the electrons jump down to the lower energy level, a photon is emitted, and if electrons jump to higher energy, higher energy levels, it's because the a photon is being absorbed uh, coming from the outside. All right, now finding the energies of those various levels, we again use this equation right here, and we can say that E sub 3 is equal to 1 over 3 squared uh, times minus 13.6 electron volts, uh, which means that the third energy level, E sub 3, is equal to um, uh, minus 1.51 electron volts. The energy to the fourth level is equal to 1 over 4 squared uh, times minus 13.6 electron volts. Uh, which is equal to uh, minus 0 0.85 electron volts. The energy to the fifth level is equal to 1 over 5 squared times minus 13.6 electron volts. And I believe that was minus 0 0.544 electron volts. And finally, the energy to the sixth level is equal to 1 over 6 squared times minus 13. I'm getting ahead of myself. Minus 13.6 electron volts. And for that, I'll need my calculator, because I don't know that one by heart. Divided by 36 equals uh, minus 0 0.378 electron volts. All right, now we need to find the difference between those energy levels, because again, when electron jumps, let's say from the sixth down to the third en energy level, then a photon is emitted by uh, equivalent in energy to the difference between those two energy levels. So we need to find the differences between them. So we have E from 3 to 4 is equal to, uh, let's see here, uh, 1.51 minus 0 0.85. And that would be equal to um, 0 0.5, nope, 0. Point, um, let's see, 51, 60, 0 0.66 electron volts. And the energy difference between uh, 3 and 5 is uh, 1.51 minus. 0 0.544, and that's kind of a brain twister, so let me calculate it. 51 minus 0.544 equals, that would be 0 0.966 electron volts, and the energy difference between 3 and 6 is a 1.51 minus 0 0.378. 1.51 minus 0.378 equals that would be 1.132 electron volts. And of course, I use a positive number there, not a negative, doesn't matter. It's simply the difference between the two energy levels. And so again, if an electron jumps up, it absorbs that energy. If an electron jumps down, it emits that energy. So that's what we just have to know. All right, now we want to find the corresponding wavelengths of those, pho of those photons when they're emitted or absorbed by those particular jumps. And let's see what those are. So the wavelength obtained uh, when or emitted when electron jumps from the fourth down to the third level and we're going to use this energy difference right here is equal to um, uh, let's see here that would be hc over the energy difference and again where does that come from well we know that the energy of a photon is equal to h times the frequency which is equal to hc over lambda solving this for lambda we say that's equal to um, hc over the energy difference so, if we want to know what the, um, what the um, wavelength is for this particular photon, we'll say, okay, photon from 3 to 4 is equal to Hc divided by the energy from 3 to 4, which is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds, times the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, divided by the energy difference, and the energy difference for that jump was 0 0.66 electron volts. And of course, we have to convert that to joules, otherwise we don't get the right numbers. So 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per one electron volt. And let's see what we get. 6.626 e34 minus times 3 e to the 8, divided by 0.66 and then divide by 1.6 e to the 19 minus, and I get 
1882 nanometers now that's well over the range for visible light which stops at 700 right visible light is from 400 to 700 nanometers this is way bigger than that so this would be infrared light IR <clears throat> And if we take down the lambda for uh, between 3 and 5, that would be Hc divided by the energy difference between 3 and 5. So instead of the 0.66 electron volts, we're going to take 0.966 electron volts, so times 0.66 divided by 0.966 equals, and that gives us a wavelength of 1,286 nanometers still well above the visible light range. So let's do one more, the wavelength difference from 3 to 6. That's equal to Hc over the energy level between 3 and 6. So instead of taking the 0.966 electron volts, we'll use the 1.132 electron volts, see what we get. So that's uh, times 0.966 divided by 1.132 equals, and that gives us a wavelength of about 1,098 nanometers. And again, well above the visible light range from, from 400 to 700 nanometers. So all these waves all these photons emitted fall in the infrared radiation range and that's known as the Paskin series. And of course there's other series that go further out where things jump down to the fourth level and back out to the fifth level and back out and so forth but I think at this point with these examples you'll figure out how to do that. Our next examples now are going to be jumps, quantum jumps for electrons but not in the hydrogen atom. We're not going to go to a little bit more complicated atoms like maybe helium or lithium or beryllium or something like that. So if you want to know a little bit more about that, stay tuned for the next video and we'll show you how to do that for more complicated atoms.